Go. Oh my god, it's huge. It is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. <laughs> going on guys it's Brandon Jay and today I have an absolutely amazing video plan for you guys as you guys know by the title and thumbnail of this video your boy I got a brand new truck <laughs> dude it sounds so crazy to say that um, but here's the thing uh, I've been keeping secrets from you lots of secrets <laughs> lots of secrets from you so not only did I get a new truck but I actually got this truck four months ago today you know how hard it is to get a brand new truck that you're so proud of? This is like a, a like a milestone in my life and not share it. So it's been a secret for four months. So this is like, whew, everything's off my chest now. I can talk about it. Um, but let's rewind. Let's take little old Brandon Jay back four months ago to day one where I ended up seeing the new love of my life, the brand new 2019 Toyota Tundra TRD. Pro. So as you guys know, I have the Tacoma 2012 Tacoma and I love that thing. You guys love that thing. You've known it and loved it and called it Black Bay and it's just, it's like my girlfriend, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, I, I'm starting to outgrow that truck a little bit and I need it four wheel drive and just, you know, it's a great truck. I actually still have it. Um, so I went to the dealership and I ended up falling in love with the 2000, well, I already said it, the new truck. Um, so I ended up getting the truck that day and this baby is stock, man. It is, uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful, capable four-wheel drive truck. It's nice inside. It has all the bells and whistles. It's everything that I needed to be able to go out and do my future adventures. You know, just kind of like um, get me a truck that's more capable now so when I'm able to get a boat and stuff like that, I'm able to have a truck that's able to deal with that. Um, however, you might be asking yourself, Brandon, that was four months ago. Uh, we haven't heard anything about it. And why is that? And um, the reason is because I haven't even drove the truck for four months. In the four months time, I have been able to team up with some of the most amazing people ever that honestly kind of believed in what I was doing and they wanted to be a part of it. They wanted to take a truck that was already amazing and capable and make it more amazing, bigger, more capable, able to do more stuff and just added this, all these elements of just tools and capabilities. Everything on this truck has a purpose and that's one of the things I love about it. Um, I've learned a lot from having my Tacoma and all of the things that I have on the Tundra fix those problems. But um, as you guys can see in the title, this, this truck is over $100,000. That I wanna put this out and just be completely upfront. I bought the truck and I had a budget for this truck, but there is no way in my wildest dreams that I could have ever had a build as amazing as this without all of these companies that I'm gonna tell you about in a little bit. Um, the fact that they wanted to partner with me in the first place, incredible, like it means the world to me that they believe in, in what I'm doing and wanna be a part of it and help me succeed. Um, but the fact that they went even more out of their way and did what they did to this truck is insane. So I wanna give credit where credit is due. Um, but before we do that, I would like to introduce you to my new 2019 Tundra TRD Pro. Some may call her Black Bay, some may call her girlfriend, but this right here is my wife, son. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, this is my brand new truck. Thank you um, to everyone for your support up to this point. It's led me to this point in my life, which honestly I can't believe. And uh, you guys might be, be wondering, Brandon, why are you showing uh, us the, the truck while it's dirty? Well, that's there's a purpose behind that. It's because everything I have in life uh, is a tool. It's something to help me get to the next place. It's not like some shiny gem. Even though this baby is gorgeous and beautiful, um, it's gonna be used in my adventures, man. I can't be afraid to like get it dirty and, and do it. And it's kind of, um, it's honestly kind of like tradition at this point. All of the guys, we've kind of made a pack. Like when you get a new vehicle, if you uh, if you baby it that first day, you're gonna baby it forever. So why not just, you know, take it mudding and dirting. And we don't have any mud, so we're just taking it dirt slinging, you know? But this is it, this is it right here in all of its glory. You remember the beetle video we did? <laughs> That is so much more impressive. <laughs> that thing slung way more dirt than my little beetle. Holy crap. Well, uh, we are gonna do more of that and more adventuring and off-roading and jumping and winching and lighting and all that stuff. But before we do that, um, I, I honestly, with the bottom of my heart, I respect all the companies that like poured their energy into this build. So I wanna take a second, before you guys click off the video, um, I wanna take a second to just show you all the companies that had a part in this. This is honestly like, this is the craziest thing, man. I could, this isn't even like my dream build because I would have never even dreamt of this. You know what I mean? Like I, I was here and they were able to get me here and I, I can't even believe it. So let's just do a quick rock around. First of all, this thing is freaking huge, dude. When I first got this thing, it was like, you know, just like, it was like maybe this tall. Now it's, it's freaking giant. I don't even know how I'm gonna wash this. I'm a short guy uh, already, but um, we've just got this, this big old beast here. We got a bunch of lights, a bunch of off-road. We've got grass right here, wedged into our 37 inch tires right here. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, we just got a, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's huge. It's kind of just like my Tacoma, as far as like the racks and stuff go, which there's a reason. Um, yeah, man, I mean, it's just, it's a giant. But um, well, let me go ahead and show you the first company um, that honestly kind of started this whole thing. So CBI Off-Road Fabrication did everything when it came to the racks, all of the bumpers, all of the rock sliders, the skid plate, they did everything. And this thing is, uh, it's all steel. It's almost, it's, don't pull the Titanic here, but it's almost indestructible, man. This thing could like crawl over rocks and all types of stuff. So first things first, we got the steel bumper right here. Uh, this does a couple things. Not only is it for protection, so you can just, <laughs> basically hit stuff. I mean, it's a freaking giant thing of steel, uh, but it protects it, it increases your approach angle. So if you're going up like rocks or anything like that with a traditional bumper, you're gonna eat those things on the bumper. So this gives you a better approach angle. And of course it has the old winch capabilities already inside of it. So we do have a 15,000 pound worn winch right here, um, which is so nice that they already come available to put the winch in there. It makes life so easy. Just in case you're wondering, they're made from 3 16ths and 1 4 steel. They are available for purchase in steel or aluminum. So if you want a little lighter, you can do that. Uh, by the way, I am an ambassador of the program, so I will have a link in the description that you guys can click on. If you go uh, want any of these things for your truck, any of the things from CBI that I'm about to talk about, if you want any of those things for your truck, just click that link in the description. It'll tell them basically I sent you. Um, which I would really appreciate because I, I want them to like get a little bit of return on their investment with me So if you do shop with them make sure to click that link just so they know where you came from and since we're down here We're gonna go ahead and show you the freaking skid place. They go all the way back here, man All this stuff is uh, basically so you can just hit rocks and stuff again made out of 316 steel um, It actually has drainage holes So if you get stuck in the mud you don't get that suction thing and the water can drain through it So it's really good for all my people who do off-road this is good and always it even goes back to my feet back there. I don't know if you can see that, but 316 steel, uh, they're available for purchase as well. Let me get out of here. And if you like change your oil and stuff, you got access points, so it's nice and easy. You don't gotta take off the whole skip plate because that would be terrible. V8 rock sliders right here. Most people just think they're step, but no, 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 not just these. These are actually gonna protect your rocker panel here. So basically if you go under a big ledge, you hit a rock or anything like that, it's gonna protect it. They are so strong that they are bolted to the frame. You can actually use a jack to lift your truck and it will actually lift it just by uh, getting all the weight distribu distributed on this thing. So of course, all of these things are available for purchase. So again, if you want something like this, just go click my link in the description, go find it and get one for your truck. I would honestly recommend these things. They're not only steps, but they actually have function. Everything needs to have function. Okay, so you guys can see I'm on top of the truck and um, 
The roof rack is honestly one of the best things about the truck. It even goes all the way back to the cab. Uh, but we'll start with like the actual Crew Max cab part. This thing is a low profile design. It's made out of aluminum, so it's only about 50 pounds, which is pretty light for a roof rack. Um, it has your sunroof uh, option where you can actually use your sunroof. I moved one of the bars, so I have full access to my sunroof because I like to get in and out of my truck that way. I don't know, I've never had a sunroof before, so I like doing that. So not only can you just walk across your roof like this, um, but right here you can see the front of the roof rack. Uh, so the front here, um, you can get a cutout that has a light bar, which is what I love. It looks so nice and clean, reduces wind noise. And you can even get a rubber wind noise reducing strip. I didn't know that was available when I got the Tacoma. I have it on the Tundra now, huge difference. I would recommend that if you get one of these racks. And of course, this back rack is pretty much the same thing. Uh, they're, both, they're both made out of that light aluminum material. Again, about 50 pounds, which is extremely light, especially for the amount of weight and stuff these things can carry. Um, so if you want this, they mount to pretty much any topper. Whether you have ARE, I have a Lear topper on here. Um, they mount to like your uh, original mounting things, if that makes sense. If you have a topper, you can definitely use one of these. I would recommend it. Um, with that being said, also, rear bumper is coming soon. So right now, they're actually working on designing and finishing up everything they need for the rear bumper. So that is the only thing that's not available for purchase right now. Everything else is available for purchase. So you like any of that stuff, it's gonna not only uh, help you carry more stuff, it's gonna protect your stuff and they all have purposes. Like these things right here, like the rock sliders, that's not just a step. That's like you could like skateboard, grind your truck over rocks now. And it's not gonna matter. So big thank you to CBI um, because not only were they the first partner of the build, they actually introduced me to so many other partners that we went with. Just like Baja Designs Lighting. So if you like any of the lights on this truck, which are the brightest lights I have ever seen, um, every single light except my LEDs in my headlight are Baja Designs, everything, even my fog lights. Not gonna go in detail about every single light just because I have so many, um, but out of all the lights I have, these are my absolute favorite. These are called LP9s. They have this like nice, beautiful uh, backlit, amber backlit feature, um, but they also shine out and they have LEDs on the side as well. They're the brightest lights I've ever seen. Um, and, uh, and they're crazy. So we've got the fog lights, we've got the LP9s, we've got the ditch bracket lightings, which uh, basically just light up the ditches, pretty easy name. We have the 50 inch light bar on the top. We have a 50 inch light bar on each side of the truck. I can't really get up there, but we got a 50 inch light bar on the back. So the entire truck is uh, just covered in 50 inch light bars um, and just 360 degree lighting of the sun. You know what I mean? We've got the armor, we've got the lights. Next up is the Icon Vehicle Dynamic Suspension. This is what allows this big beefy truck to ride so beautifully and nice. I mean, it's, it's honestly crazy. So it's kind of hard to see, but we have Icon Vehicle Dynamic Suspension back here and we'll kind of lay some b-roll over it so this is a stage nine kit that's fully adjustable all of it's adjustable so you have uh, all the way soft and you have uh 10 adjustments so you have super super soft or you can have a little more stiff which is really cool because when you're going off-roading and going really fast you can allow the suspension to flex really nice um, but if you're towing like a 10,000 pound boat you can stiffen up the rear and keep the front soft and uh, you can kind of go over bumps and it won't be so bad, but you'll not have that squat when you have 10,000 pounds being on the back of this truck. So just like the rest of the companies I've talked about so far, if you're interested in them, they will be linked in the description below. And um, one of the things that's crazy about this build, is they're all top of the line companies in their industry. Like they are the leaders, which is so, so cool um, that we got to see like all of the best people come together and make something crazy. All right, next up, we have the big, beefy off-road boys right here. We've got BF Goodrich tires. I am so excited about this partnership um, because it's more than just tires. They're actually, we've got some secret stuff planned, but we've got some really cool stuff lined up in about a month or two, right? I mean, it's gonna be pretty sick. Um, so I ended up going with some 37 inch tires. Um, they're the BF Goodrich KM3. So these are like the big mud terrain boys right here, but they're not loud on the highway. They didn't tell me to say that. That's just facts. I was actually scared to go with these tires because I didn't want something crazy loud. You guys know I travel across the country. These tires are amazing. They grip the mud. We accidentally found that out the other day. <laughs> they grip the mud really well, but on a highway, they're amazing. If you guys are curious, they're 37 inch by 12 and a half um, by 20. So 20 inch rim, 12 and a half inch wide tire, 37 inches tall. 
on, I forgot to mention this, the, uh, the suspension lift is a three inch lift. So to get 37s into a uh, three inch lift on a Tundra is extremely hard. We had, to, uh, we had to do some welding and stuff to get them in. That's on fire. <laughs> That's crazy. And since we're already down here talking about this stuff, um, one of like the, the coolest, craziest partnerships we did um, was with Custom Offsets. I'm a big fan of their stuff on YouTube. Uh, if you guys are truck guys, you know exactly who Custom Offsets are. Um, I, I commented and they commented back and we ended up talking and ended up partnering for this build. Uh, but not only did I partner with Custom Offsets, we actually partnered with Anthem Off-Road as well. So Custom Offsets reached out to Anthem. Anthem was super stoked. Um, as well as custom offsets they came together and we got brand new wheels for this build um, which is really cool because these wheels aren't even available so the fact that they would trust them on my build just means the world to me um, i'm the only person in the united states right now with these publicly on the road um, so i'm super grateful for that um, anthem off road I'm an ambassador on both of those as well. So custom offsets, if you go there and uh, buy anything from custom offsets and you saw it from me, uh, make sure to just uh, put that you saw it from me. It's gonna help me out. Re remember these people teamed up with me. So I wanna give them a return on the investment um, as well as Anthem Off-Road. Uh, I've got an ambassador link for them as well. So you guys have seen all the people who put things on the truck, um, but there's one more company who helped tie it all together. They like sit, in such a special place in my heart they have been with me since the beginning of my youtube channel when i was putting light bars on the mustang when i was trying to get the tacoma all figured out and built and finally this truck i've all went to the same place every single time um and p-tap in columbus georgia made this thing happen i dropped it off about a day after i bought it i didn't really even get to explore adventure in this truck and um left it with them went down to florida and did all the business over the phone this truck may have had all the parts but it wouldn't look the way it does without p-tap so guys if you ever are around columbus georgia area or if you're like me and you're even in a different state but it's worth getting your stuff done right go to p-tap in columbus georgia um, they worked with me so closely they showed me everything we welded stuff together we uh programmed stuff together they um really took their time and took me step by step through this truck how to use what how to do what what works where why do this why don't that um, and now I know the ins and outs of this truck and all of the new parts that I have on it. So um, big thank you to P-TAP. They really took care of me and uh, they've been taking care of me, which means the most. So um, just want to say thank you to all the companies who worked on this. Uh, and we're not done with this video. We're about to go rip it up and have fun. Um, but I really couldn't have done this. Like I said earlier, you know, my dream build was here and um, they took it way past anything I could ever thought, you know, so. Every company holds a, a special part and place in, in my heart. Um, so I hope you, you guys uh, find something you like and hopefully give them some love back uh, because I don't know how I'll ever repay them. It's just insane. Do you ever get that moment where you're like, I'm, I, this is a dream? It feels like a dream. That is, uh, it's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today's video. Um, honestly, 
this has been the hardest secret I think I've ever had to keep for the past four months. I've just like known about this build. I probably hit up PTAP probably at least a 700 times calling them, just asking, hey, did these parts come in? Hey, did this happen? Hey, what's put on yet? And um, it's been the craziest waiting game of my life, uh, but it has paid off like tremendously. And um, still to this day, I can't even believe this is my truck, man. Like just, ah, gosh crazy you know like I just started uh, college as cr class project me and my buddies Tristan and um, then we, we teamed up with Jake um, and then we just started growing on YouTube and you guys if you guys have watched the past few years you have seen my life quite literally change just because of you guys and I never know the right ways to express my gratitude other than just saying thank you so much um, but you know I w want you guys to know that none of this would be able to be possible without you you know I would have never been able to get this truck without you um, I would ne have never been able to team up with all the, the companies that helped me build this I, I, I could have never had this truck to begin with um, and it's just all thanks to you guys so I owe you guys a lot I just want to say I'm super appreciative I'm very grateful I never take it for granted ever um, and so I, I just I don't know I just want to pour out and say thank you um, all this stuff is is all fun and dandy and it's all great um, but ultimately, you guys' support led to all this. So um, just want to give a quick thanks to you guys. Um, and thank you to all the companies who wanted to partner with me. I, I, I would never have the budget for a truck like this. I only could buy the truck by itself, you know. So um, very, very grateful, very honored um, that you guys believe in me, the companies believed in me. Um, and I just can't wait to see where we go, you know. Um, this truck is, is going to be used in some really, really cool adventures. We have some stuff planned. We have some like really cool ideas for the winch and stuff like that you guys will see. Um, but I just want to say thanks. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There was a lot I had to talk about, you know. Obviously, um, when we're working with these companies, you know, we've got to do diligence by them and, and talk about the parts and pieces that they provide. Um, so I know some of that stuff can get kind of like, a, you know, talkative, but I hope you guys got the entertainment value of it as well. Um, it's crazy, man. It's freaking crazy it's finally here uh let me know in the comment section below what kind of crazy stuff you guys want to see with the truck and um for all of you who are asking about my taco i've got something really cool planned for that so um just stay tuned don't go anywhere subscribe if you're not already remember all of the people i talked about any of the parts on this truck they're all going to be linked down in the description below make sure you click those um if you do happen to get something from something from those companies uh just make sure to let them know i sent you it's it's like the way i can prove that i'm paying back um, for what they've done for me so huh, man it's crazy crazy but um thank you guys again i hope you enjoyed today's video and as always i will catch you on the next adventure with uh the new black thing peace out you and I till the end don't be too pretend again and again we'll stick together well in the uh, midst of trying to get a good burnout and just get like a cool shot, I, I pressed the brakes up front, just let the back eat, but I have I've dug myself in a hole quite quite literally literally here. So now we're gonna use four-wheel drive. We also have the max tracks, we also have we also have the winch, so we're gonna get out. Um, but uh yeah, this is like the factory hike of my truck right here. Jeez. We're gonna throw her in four and get her on out of here, boy. Ain't no worries, ain't nothing to it. <laughs> got it. I do want to talk about this real quick. We got her in four wheel drive, which is one of the reasons I love this truck. I've never had four wheel drive. That's the first time I got to use it. Um, in the event that we do end up stuck in the sand, which uh, could happen, we have these right here. I don't know if you can see these back in here. These are called Max Tracks. So uh, if we ever get stuck again, we can just shove these under the tires and just uh, pretty much drive it right out. So it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that was kind of cool. Let's bury it again. <laughs> <laughs> this truck is going to be used as a shovel today. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. I've got some really cool ideas on how to use this truck as a tool in my videos and just has so many abilities, kind of like you just saw, like with the Max Tracks, we have tools and stuff to really get into some crazy places and get out of some crazy places, which is the most important, but I love seeing it covered in dirt, bro. I did buy the ultimate car wash package where I can go through as many times as I want in a month, so we'll be visiting there in like 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.